I'm not sure if you still remember this mining rig where I built it for the video tutorial how to build a mining rig in this channel. If you haven't, check the top right corner for the link. So basically, this mining rig consists of two RTX 2060 12GB version, two RTX 3060 and two RTX 3060 Ti's. And total up, it is getting 295 megahash per second mining Ethereum. And before the Grey Glacier update, this mining rig is was giving me 0.0027 ETH every single day. And right now, every single day, it is giving me 0.0037 Ethereum. And let's talk about this major event in the Ethereum mining space right now. What is up everyone, Jin Hao here back with another cryptocurrency mining related video. So this video is not designed to be educational as usual. It is more like a quick update or sharing on what's happening in the GPU mining space right now in case you know you are busy and you do not know what's happening in the current uh, Ethereum mining to be specific okay, space right now. So without further ado, let's dive into what is going on or what has been going on in the Ethereum network. So the major event that happened is this Grey Glacier update which happens on the block 15.05 million as stated here and in my timeline it happens on the 30th of June I believe and what this Grey Glacier uh, network update changes is basically to push back the difficulty bomb by 700,000 blocks which means roughly a hundred days so what happened after this Grey Glacier update we can see that the Ethereum network difficulty dropped very significantly from around 14.2, 14.3 3p down to sub 12 and we are right now stagnant at around 11.7 to around 11.8 and the surprising thing is that because i expect when the difficulty bomb is being pushed back the network difficulty you know is being reduced and a lot more hash rate will come back to the ethereum network and pushing back the uh, it Ethereum network difficulty back up at least a little bit to sort of like equalize things. But what happened is the Ethereum hash rate basically stay quite stagnant at around, you know, 900 terahash per second, which surprised me because I thought it would back to like, you know, where we where we were like probably around like 1 terahash or 1.1 terahash, but Surprise, surprise, all right, the network hash rate did not really increase. And if you really look at it, it looks like it is declining as well. So this contributes to one thing, which is the increased amount of Ethereum that we earn every single day, alongside the block time that has been reduced from around 15 seconds per block to right now, we can see that it is down to like 13 seconds. So meaning that every single day there will be more blocks to be mined by the miners and the Ethereum difficulty, you know, is like dropping and network hash rate stay the same, which is a great thing in my opinion, at least for now, Ethereum network hash rate has not been going up and all this contributes a slight increment in Ethereum uh, profitability when it comes to the amount of ETH that we are getting. So when if we convert into fiat, let's just look into like whattomine.com for one single RTX 3070. Right now we are looking at, I think somewhere around 70 cents per day after electricity of uh, seven cents per kilowatt hour, we are looking at 73 cents. So it used to be around like 40 to 50 cents or sub 50 cents when Ethereum prices, you know, it, it are is staying at a low and the difficulty is all time high at like 14 plus P and things like that. So right now, definitely things are, you know, a little bit better if we look at the amount of Ethereum that we are getting. So on my side, okay, I have several mining rigs that are being spread across different mining pools. On average, I personally am getting about 25% more Ethereum after the Grey Glacier update. So will the network hash rate increase because you know it, we get more ETH right now? 
we don't know, okay? We have to see and monitor whether or not people are coming back to the Ethereum network and start mining. If that were to happen, actually that was what I expect to happen, but it didn't at least at the point of recording this video. So if that were to happen, I believe that the profitability might drop a little bit, but great news is at least we have 90 over days, okay? It's not no longer 100 days. We have 90 over days for us to enjoy the current uh, mining profitability as far as Ethereum mining is concerned. So after that uh, 700,000 block is reached, we do not know what would happen. We have to still keep an eye on the Ethereum dev call and see what's their progress over the side, whether or not the merge will be further delayed, right? So despite getting more Ethereum in terms of mining profits, I still don't think that adding on, you know, GPUs is a smart thing to do unless you can really get them on a super bargain. Okay, MSRP is no longer a bargain. So you need to be able to buy at a way cheaper price or else it couldn't be, you know, at least to me, it couldn't be justified because we know that, okay, right now, if you were to calculate the ROI, that would be like four years, five years, or even longer. And that is just not that realistic. If you are buying GPU right now, there are a few things that, in my opinion, you need to consider. The first thing is, whether or not you are getting it at a bargain. The second thing is how much is your power cost? Because if Ethereum were to move away from proof of work to proof of stake, then we have to mine other coins and profitability will suffer a lot. So efficiency is the one thing that will make you survive during that crypto mining winter time. The second thing would be your power cost. I think that's very important. I mentioned it in a lot of my videos already. Now, the third thing is, of course, you need to have a long-term plan because you will need to expect to mine through this crypto winter and maybe it could be one year, two years, or two years or three years until we have a bull run and then your profit profitability will go up and your you will be ROI in maybe five or eight months during the bull run. So right now, if you look at ROI, things are just ridiculous. So you cannot make decisions based on ROI. There are a lot more things that we need to consider when we want to add more GPUs. But for me personally, I'm not adding more GPUs, at least not aggressively. I have not been buying GPUs for the past one month, right? So that would be the thing that I want to share in this video. If you still have the GPU mining around or you have like ETH ASICs, keep mining because the mining profits are really great right now. And yeah, basically that's all for this quick update. Happy mining, stay safe, and I will see you when I see you. Peace out.